Of course, I know that God can work even you are in the back. Because God can work everywhere. I mean, you could be home and God can work. But we are happy to have you here. It's a good habit to just sit as close to the pulpit as possible. Alright, the last night, two more sessions. And, oops, Two special sessions. And I will suggest that the second session is recorded. Like all the sessions. But not uploaded. Because it's more internal. So people who are members they can have access to it. Alright, so can we start? Amen. So, I will give you some uh, small, short history lesson. I hope it's okay. I'm not a history teacher. I'm not a Bible teacher either. Sometimes I I don't remember who is who. But I want to give you some very interesting information. So it's not only history details. I'm not good at that. I don't have time to, to dig into that. But I have a point. Maybe something meaningful in this. And that's why I bring it to you 
Then we have Cain and Abel. <laughs> Same problem. God said, where is your brother? Am I my brother's keeper? I'm not responsible. Same problem. I give you the example of Noah. Something similar. But Abraham was different. So when God said, I have in mind to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. Abraham stood up before God. Such a brave man. Stood up and said, if I can find some righteous people, can you say mercy? Can you be merciful? Please? And God said, okay. God was pleased with that. That's why I call the message finally a responsible man. Finally, somebody who forgets himself a little bit and think about other people. So, we are going to heaven, yes. Jesus took responsibility for that. Even he was guilt free. He was sin free. He took the guilt on himself. He took all responsibility. That was the cross for us. So we could be saved. Amen. And we may. He took the guilt, he took the shame, he took everything. He took the, he took the letter of accusation and tore it apart. So the only thing we can we have to do is to receive that. It's a gift. But then we have to walk with him. That's where responsibility begins. And we as human beings, not only Christians, but as human beings, we are we are a little bit hostile to responsibility. If you, run, if you drive over the red light, you say, oh, but my car went too far. <laughs> my car was too fast. There is always an excuse somewhere. And um, we, we learn through years of work with people, with ourselves, first of all. And that when people have long explanations, there is something wrong. <laughs> if you blow it, don't explain. Just say, yeah. It's me. I did. It. But you know, Adam. You know what, God? Let me explain you something. We saw the fruit and my wife and long explanations are always hiding something. So when God works, don't explain. Actually, God knows everything before you say it. Anyway. So why, why God, point number one, all have sinned. 
We are all sinners. Peter so don't look at me only, look at everybody. We are all sinners. Get to the point. I'm guilty. I blew it. So we take responsibility for our walk with God. But then there was another level of responsibility. When we realize that walking with God is not the end of it. It's not only me walking with God well and I became conscious that I have to be an example for others. So not only I come to realize that I am responsible for my work with God. God wants me to be a foreign. So I take responsibility for somebody else. Parents are responsible to raise their children well. Okay. So that's a new discovery. And people who don't like responsibility don't like this message. Then, then they pray like this. God saved the whole world. What an easy prayer. Save the whole world. So it's your responsibility. So we you know, taking responsibility might be the most meaningful thing in, in life. Think about it. Think about life, human life, your life. Maybe the most meaningful thing is to take responsibility for something. For work, for somebody, for education, for people who need help, you step in and do something, take responsibility. Maybe it's the most meaningful thing on earth, in human life. I don't know, maybe, I thought yesterday night, I couldn't, I couldn't find something more meaningful. <laughs> and when our children take responsibility, we parents, whoa. Mom, don't care. I will take the trash bin. I will fix that for you. Daddy, you need the car, need a car wash? Let me do that for you. Whoa. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Something good is happening. We don't have to ask them, we don't have to push them, we don't have to them. If you don't wash the car, no more food this week. <laughs> that's one way of doing it, but that's not the right way to raise people. So when our children begin to take responsibility, then parents feel like, whoa, that's meaningful. Something good happens. Amen. So we are talking about being a forerunner. That's why I said yesterday, sometimes we say to people in church, Ma, you are important. You're an important person for the kingdom. But sometimes we don't know why. It's because she has, she's a forerunner. She's not only important in God's eyes as a person, as a woman. But she's also important because she become an example for somebody else. So if the devil takes her out, takes her out of God's plan, number one, she will be harmed. Because the devil is harming people. Always. Always harming people. But something more serious happens. The people God wants to give her 
Бурхны түүн өгөхийг хүсэж байгаа хүмүүс they are going to тэд нар түүнтэй хамт so she's an important person тэд тэр чухал хүн байгаа юм байна мөн important person мөн нэг чухал хүн who you guys an important person хоёга чухал хүн i am an important person би бас чухал хүн are you with me yes so now we know why we are important тэр одоо бид нар яагаад би чухал юм бэ гэж ойлгочихлоо not just because i mean god loves me yes бурхан надад хайртай учраас гэдэг зөвхөн ганц шалтгаан биш there is more to the story энэ үүнээс илүү зүйл байх хэрэгтэй so за тэгэхээр because we important for god and for the kingdom бид нар хаанчлалт болоод бурханд чухал учраас the enemy байсан will become a wave of that. Үүнийг мэдж байгаа. So tonight in this first session I want to talk about the enemies of the foreigners. Тэгэхээр өнөөдөр эхний хэсэг дээр би өмнө хүүхдийн дайснуудын талаар ярих байна. Because if I receive Christ as my savior. Учран би Христийг миний аврагч болгон хүлээн авах юм бол he cannot hinder that. Тэр хүлээн авахад дьявол үүнийг одоо саад болж чадахгүй үүнд саад болж чадахгүй. Because Jesus overcame him Jesus загалмаа дээр түүнийг ялчихсан. If if Jesus died for, if I receive his death and his life хэрэг би түүний өхөл ба түүний амиг хүлээн авах юм бол nothing can interfere in that. Энэ үйл явцад нөлөөлж чадах юу ч байхгүй. Энэ үйл явцад тасалдуулж nothing to no devil no witch nothing. Even if he kills me on the spot I go to heaven. Тэр намаг энэ газар дэлхийд дээр алсан ч гэсэн устасан ч гэсэн юм уу сурчих. Out of his control. Би түүний хяралтаас гарсан байхгүй. Can do nothing. Тэр надад юу ч хийж чадахгүй. The call his me and I die I go directly to heaven. Би дайрлаад насарлаад шууд дээш юм уу гэх болсон. My family will grieve. Yes. Мөн нэг бүлийнхэн гашуудах болно. I am unharmed. Гэхдээ тэр намаг тэглээгээ хинтэж чадахгүй гэсэн. The second thing is if we walk with him and become the foreigner for somebody else he will hate that because then more people will become like Christ and more people will begin to challenge him Тэгэд тэгснээр түүнийг сорих хүмүүсийн тоон юм. More people will raise their voices in worship. Багтаалд бол дуу хаалгаа өндөрсөн хүмүүсийн тоон юм. More people will walk in righteousness and truth and God's wisdom. Үнэн ба зүгт байдлаар дотор бурхны мэрэгэн ухаанд дотор алхах хүмүүсийн тоон юм. That's your problem. Энэ асуудал болж байгаа. Because we become more and more. Яа тэр бид нар өсөөд байгаа байхгүй. And we become stronger and stronger. Яг хүчирхэгжээд байна. Even the young ones become strong and strong. Жаахан хүүхдийн үрдэл хүчирхэгжээ. Even the old ones are strong. Настай хүн үрдэл хүчирхэгжээ. That's the problem for the devil. Энэ бол дьяволын хувьд асуудал. That's why he hates the foreigners. Тэр өмнө хүүхдийг үзье. That's what the Bible says if you hate the shepherd, the sheep split. Тэр нь шас би бүх хэлдэг. Хоньчныг нь цохих юм бол хоньын сүргээс тарах болно. So the devil is is a strategist. Тэр дьявол ч гэсэн стратегич. If he can remove the pastors, the church falls apart. Тэр пастрыг зайлуулах юм бол сүм нуурж байгаа. If you remove the foreigner, the followers will just dissipate. Тэр өмнө хүүхдтийг зайлуулж чадах юм бол түүний тэднийг дагагчд нь тараал алга болчих. And that's a better strategy for him. Энэ бол түүний хувьд сайн стратеги. That's why I will show you. Тийм ч бас би таарал. How consistent the devil is. Дьявол ямар тууштай болохыг харуул яа. So don't laugh at the devil. Тэр дьявол руу хараад битийг хөхрөөрөө. He is overcome, yes. Тэр ялагцсан уу? But he's still active. Гэхдээ тэр итгэхтэй хэвээр байна. He has still an agenda. Тэр төлөвлөгөө байгаа. Amen. He still wants to pursue that agenda. Тэр төлөвлөгөөгөө одоо ч гэсэн үшигсэн. He cannot hinder things in happening. Тэр одоо болж байгаа зүйлс цаана болж байгаа. But he might limit things in happening. Гэхдээ тэр зарим зүйлсийг болохоос хойш татаж болно. He could not hinder Israel in getting in the promised land. Тэр Израилчуудыг амтлагдсан газар орхыг цогсоож чадаагүй. But he removed one generation. Гэхдээ тэр нэг үеийг бол устгаж чадсан. That's one generation too much. Нэг үе гэдэг чинь маш том ажил юм байна. So. I will show, show you certain things there are many details I will just I will not give you all the details. Би та нарт бүх нарийн ширин хэсгүүдийг ярихгүй. Гэхдээ чухал гол санаа нь One day it will be in a manual in a manual for you you can read all the details. Би нэг нэг өдөр би одоо гарын арлах дээр бичиг гаргана та нарт тэгэхээр уншаа. So this point is like this. За тэгэхээр foreigners өмнө хөөхчнөр foreigners understand 
the danger of mixture. Women who hold the backing, I usually need to ask. Women who hold the backing, I usually ask. We have to understand that. If you want to become a foreigner, if you want to grow inside the house here, become more and more strong, more and more sharp, more and more accurate, more and more intense, you must pay attention to the danger of mixture. That's why Elijah on Mount Carmel he said, how long will we continue to shift from left to right? If God is God, serve him. If God is God, serve him. And stop mixing things. Amen? Understand that? That was the point he addressed. They were good people, sometimes they served God, other times they served Baal. Even the couple, Ahab, Ahab was the king of Israel, his wife was an idol worshiper. What is that? Mixture. Amen? If you go to the book of Revelation, John is writing to the churches and he speaks on God's behalf. And God said to one of the churches, I just wish you were cold or warm, but because you are lukewarm, you know I will speak you out of my mouth. That's a strong word. Because God is not a spitter. <laughs> God does not send people away. God welcomes people. Come and serve me. Come and love me. Come and walk with me. Come and honor me. You are 14 yeah. or you are 74, no difference. Come. Come to me. Eat and drink for free. Let me teach you for free. Are you with me? So, and God said, but because you are that mixture, I cannot have it. That word meant a lot to me many years ago. I remember the meeting. 1976. A preacher from Argentina came to Denmark. And he's the first one I heard speak about the kingdom. First one. When I heard it, my jaw dropped. And I'm thinking, why I have not heard this before? Anyway, long story short, I said to my wife, don't expect me to be very much home. I will follow this man and be in all his meetings. Because I want everything he has before he leaves Denmark. So I went home, then I went to his meeting, then I went home, then I went to the other meeting, then I went home and the third meeting. And one of the meetings, he spoke about that. How God can just spit us out of his mouth. Ooh. Then I decided I will go all the way. I will be hot. I've been told and now I will jump over the lukewarm and become hot. No more mixture. When I came back to God after three, four years of rebellion, Left the church, 
This pastor, you know very well. He's in town. Maybe you should go to his meetings. So I don't know. I don't go to church anymore. Maybe you should think about it. The mother's massage. <laughs> and then, uh, uh, so when is the first meeting? で、ピーヒエトサンディテイ。アテクモンディティ。ピーニクトサンディテイ。アチマンバイスタンディチマイスタン。ソワントドフォースミティング。ザテヒエトサンディティ。アテヒエトサンディティ。アンユーヒン。
Why did the Gentiles wage and the peoples plot in vain? So here, they quote David. David saw that in the future. That there was a plot. You plot? It's a conspiracy. Why? And the people's plot in vain. The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers were gathered together against the Lord and against his anointing. So David saw that in the spirit in the future. David He saw God's anointed. He saw the Messiah. Messiah And he saw that there was a plot, a conspiracy mm-hmm. of powerful people coming together to resist him. Why did they resist him? Because he will become the firstborn of many brothers. What well, the first Adam the last Adam will restore. Mm-hmm. So the devil knew that. So there was a plot, there was a conspiracy of rulers. Powerful people, the kings of the earth. The rulers were gathered together. Verse 27, for truly in this city they were gathered together. So these, these believers, they saw that what David saw in the future was happening. David spoke about it. David They saw it. David Alright. Against your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed, then he goes. Both Herod. Pontius Pilate, along with the Gentiles and the people of Israel. Mm-hmm. So they identify who are who is in that conspiracy. To resist Jesus, the anointed one. Will become the first born in a new generation of kingdom people. Everything, everything possible, everything evil had to be mobilized to resist that at any price. Somehow the devil decided. This has to stop. We have to hinder it in happening. Even we have to use all hell. It has to. We have to stop this. Because if we cannot stop it, we will never be able to stop it. So they were able to identify. One of them was Herod. The other one was Pontius Pilate. Then there were the religious people of Israel, the Pharisees. Are you with me? So, they saw that conspiracy. I believe that this is still operating to stop us. I bought my life, I bought my mission, so I don't have followers. 
Тэгэд би дагалдагч ба. I don't have sons and daughters. Надад сүнс нь хүүгөө тогтоод ба. So my children do not walk with God. Миний хүүхдүүд бурхантай хамт алхахгүй ах. Which is the case right now. Энэ бол яг одооны асуудал энэ бол. My wife and I we stand up. Ихнэр тоо боссон. And we demand all our children back to the kingdom. Тэгээ бид хүүхдүүдээ хаанчлал руу буцаж шаардсан ба. Children all going to be No abortion. Ямар ч таслах бастан Look at Monk there. Oh, such a nice young man. He's not about that. It goes deeper than that. From the kingdom path. Because the devil knows. If God takes one of them, he can make 15 out of one. Бурхан эднээс нэгийг л ашиглах юм бол эдний араас дахиад тавиг гарч байгаа. Amen. Yeah. Тэгэхээр Тэр чухал хүн мөн л бол би тэднийг харж байгаа. They saw that. They saw that concept. Тэгэхээр энэ итгэгчнэр энэ хувьтайг олж харсан байна. And one of the people they mentioned is Herod. Тэгээд тэдний дурдсан хүмүүсийн дунд Herod гэсэн. Spot on. Herod дээр одоо is not just to харагдах. No. Тэгэхээр тэд нэр Herod Herod гэж Тэрхүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүүү
want to find him. I want to worship him. What is he? So he was already in place. He was the, the great. So he was in power. That's why when he heard that Jesus was born, he planned to murder all baby boys. To make sure that this is not going to happen. You have to fight him. We have to kill him. So the, whole, the whole plan of God is aborted. Are you listening to me? It was called by historians the murder of the innocent. He brutally killed many innocent people. There is a history about mm -hmm. Amy. It will take too long time to tell that. Yeah, very short. There is a historian, Jewish historian, who said that they, they were so brutal. That they took the children from their mothers and they slammed them against the wall to kill them. It was so brutal. So brutal. There is more to the story. Okay, but it's not in the Bible, so we don't know. So his dream was to interfere in God's master scenario. But, but he failed. I said he failed. He failed. Believe it or not. Even this conspiracy was strong in world. A young man and a young woman with a baby on a donkey walked out of the country. And Herod did not see them. Can you imagine? They might have gone through all the Roman checkpoints. Check, check the visa. <laughs> visa to Egypt. Joseph and Mary went to the And Herod was looking for them. They escaped. Amen. That's the faith we must have in our hearts. Our young people will escape. I said it again. Our young people will escape. Our sons and daughters, our grandchildren will escape. If we understand our responsibility as foreigners. So, so Herod the Great, his plan failed. They escaped all Razias and they reached Egypt safely. So what happened, that's what, what happened to them. What happened to Herod the Great? Let me tell you what happened. Herod the Great became very sick. And he died of an extremely painful illness. It was so painful that this disease was known afterward, afterward as Herod's evil. There is a book about his life. And in that book, you can find all the disgusting details about that sickness. That small animals ate him from the inside. And he suffered a very, very painful death. So, conspiracy tried to get rid of Jesus. But these two young parents with their baby passed by before their nose and survived. But Herod was removed. 
he died a painful death. Okay? But the devil was not pleased with that. So there was a dynasty, there was a song. Okay? And the song's name was Herod Antipas. So the son of Herod the Great. So he's followed his father on the throne. And he's the one who is responsible for the death of John the Baptist. So there was another forerunner here. John the Baptist. Okay. And he so the devil is chasing the foreigners generation after generation. This conspiracy has one goal. Destroy this kingdom dynasty. The dog God is the God of heaven and earth. And God's goal was to destroy this dynasty. Because <laughs> yeah. at the end of the day, Pentecost, Jerusalem, came out of the kingdom of darkness and were transferred to the kingdom of So he was the one responsible for the death of John the Baptist. And he was one of the main actors at the trial of Jesus. Jesus Christ, together with Pontius Pilate. Okay. John the Baptist died. You know that? But Jesus was on the way. And Jesus So the plan moved forward. What happened to Herod Antipas? History said all these Herods were connected to Rome. To the Roman emperors. So they had connection with the Roman powers. And that's why I mean with mixture, I will show you later. That this dynasty wanted to be friends with the Roman emperors. But they were all, they were also wanted to be friends with the Jews, with the people of God. Just like Jezebel, she was married to Ahab, the king of Israel, but she had connection with the evil world. When Elijah challenged them, either you serve God or you serve Baal. Find out. Because this is lukewarmness. And God will finish that. Which means lukewarmness is dangerous. It was a shock for me. Because when you, when you take a shower, <laughs> it's neither cold nor hot. <laughs> mm -hmm. So lukewarm is very nice. Mm -hmm. so we have, we have this, maybe we have this impression that lukewarm is not that bad. God, you know, it's not cold. I'm not cold. God, I'm not cold. Take my temperature. Yeah, I'm not cold. 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 I'm not Look how much dangerous. That's what God said. I prefer you were cool. But don't be cool. Even less be lukewarm, be hot. 
хүүдэн ч битгий бай бүлээ ч битгий бай халуун бай надад үүл чинь намайг хайрл намайг маш надтай хамт алах let me draw you into closeness into intimacy би та нарыг дотн байдал руу дууд маань оруул маань if you love me keep my word my father and i we will move into your home та нар намайг хайрлаад миний үгийг сахих юм бол эцэг минь та нарыг хайрлаа тэгээд бид нар та нарыг дотор орон барьц what about that hot life with me ийм халуун амьдралаа what about that intimacy ийм их хүчтэй амьдрал what about that accuracy ийм онцтой амьдрал what about that sharpness ийм хурц зүйл яг righteousness зүгт байдлын төлөө хурц amen love the truth үнийг хайрладаг don't lie half life half truth үнийг худлаа яриад хасуу яриад хасуу худлаа яриад үнийг хайрла so тэгэхээр this this dynasty were friends of war of the woman emperors in oksa romin zakhirchtay nukhrilddag bas why were they yeah. friends Rock because they received wealth from rome fitness id baylli hulen avtdag bas money munk go at palaces ortom servants zartsna weapons horses bizsig mer so there was a There was a mater- materialistic blessing coming this way. Yeah, the Romans materialistic euros of people. So they wanted to be friends with Rome. They were just in the Rome church they were friends with Rome. And all four generations of Herods were friends with Rome. Herod in in during with during the Roman traditionary nations. But the, the the Roman emperor in the days of Herod Antipas was named Caligula. So Herod Antipas in who was the Roman traditionary Caligula. 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 And the man was insane. Astonis. And the emperor mm-hmm. told Herod. Rami Khan Herod it is. To kill himself. Uri Vasquez. So Herod Antipas, the son of Herod the Great, mm-hmm. stabbed himself to death by the orders of the Roman emperor. Тэгэхээр агуу Херодын хүү Херод Антипас Ромын хааны одоо тушаалын дагуу өөрөө өөрийгөө авсан баг. So this one tried to kill Jesus. За тэгэхээр дэдлийн Херод Есүсийг алхаж оролцсон. This one succeeded in killing John the Baptist. А энэ болохоор Йоанн Баптистыг авсан амжилттай авсан баг. And he died a violent death. Тэгээд маш аймшигтай өглөө. Like committing a violent suicide. Өөрийгөө амаа хорч байсан. After him түүний дараа came a third generation. Гордох үе гарч байгаа. And his name was түүний нэр Herod Agrippa number 1. Herod Agrippa Nick. Herod Agrippa. Nick to Herod Agrippa. Number 1. Mm-hmm. Okay? Now we see with me. Хамт ойлоо та. Don't remember the details. Are we get to the point? He's the one. За тэр яасан бэ гэхээр Who is mentioned in Acts chapter 12. Үс 12 дээр яригдчих байгаа хүн бол Herod Agrippa. Yeah. He was the one. In Acts 12 the Bible says let's go there. Үс 12 дээр. За энийг харахаар. Acts chapter 12. Үс 12. So you understand the devil is serious about this? Тэр дьявол ямар нүцтэй байгааг та харж байна. The devil is serious about the foreigners. Тэр өмнө хүүхдтэй үнэхээр нүцтэй байгаа. Because foreigners have fallen. Яагаад гэхэд хэдийг хүмүүс дагах учраас. Shepherds have sheep. хончтод хон өвдөг. You destroy the shepherd you have destroy the sheep. Нэг устгах юм бол хоний сүрийг устгалаа гэсэн үг. We come and take over. Тэгээд чанарууд хурчрээд хоний хоньдыг авах. So in chapter 12 verse 20. 12-р 20-р шүлээр. Herod was angry with the people of Tyre and Sidon. Herod тэр болон Сидоны хүмүүс ихэд хэлгэндэг байв. And they came to him except like this one verse 21. Тэгээд 21-д дээр. On an appointed day Herod put on his royal robes. Тавлсан өдөр Херод эрхэм дээд суудалтаа took his seat upon the throne. Хааны хувцтайгаа залрч delivered an oration speech to them. Тэдэнд үг хэлэвч. And the people were shouting. Тэ хүмүүс хашгирсан. The voice of the god and not of a man. Энэ бол хүний дуу биш бурхны дуу байна гэж багтан хашгирсан. Immediately. Тэр даруй гэж. An angel of the Lord struck him down. Итний тэнгэрч дүүний цогсон. And he was eaten by worms and breathed his last. Өртөн барилж өгсөн гэж байна. Whoa. That's sorry. Эсвэл юу гэдэг хөөхтэ гарна. This is a good movie. That's sorry. Тэнэг хэвэл гой кино болох юм шүү. So what about this hero? Тэгээ энэ хэрэг яасан? Let's go back to chapter 12 verse 
But that time, Herod the king laid violent hands on some who belonged to the church. The church which were followers of Jesus. He was the forerunner. They were the first generation. But he knew. If I don't look after them, they will reproduce. Mm-hmm. So he laid violent hands on some who belong to the church. He killed, he killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. And when he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded to arrest Peter also. When he saw, is verse 3. When he saw that he pleased the Jews, so he wanted, they wanted to please Rome, but they want to please the Jews as well. And he thought, I want Peter's life. I want Peter's life. But then we know from the story that Peter was rescued. So Peter was rescued. James died. John the Baptist died. James died. More believers died. But God's pain was still going on. Because nobody can stop God. That's why we have to take our life seriously. Now what, what happened to him? We know what happened to him. Suddenly the worms ate him from the inside. And he died just before that. Painful death. Link number three in the Herodian dynasty. So then, the atmosphere was an atmosphere of extreme brutality in those days. Let me tell you about this man. Herod Agrippa number one. He was such a violent person, such a brutal person. That historians say that under his rule, murder became almost a culture. People killed one another. Just like it happened in Rome. He personally killed three of his own sons. He killed his favorite wife. He killed his mother-in-law. And he had a plan to bring, to fill a whole stadium with Jewish leaders. Whoa, this is, this is the devil at work. With no control, totally out of control. Because he was so proud he was so proud that he wanted people to grieve him when he died. So, and he knew when he died, nobody will grieve him because he was so brutal. So that's the plan he imagined. He will fill a whole stadium with Jewish leaders, and he will kill all of them, and then he will think they are all grieving for me. I mean, the man is insane. That's why God had to remove him. You understand? Acts 4, these believers, they were shocked in the spirit. They saw that conspiracy. Fourth generation. Herod, Agrippa number two. Herod, Agrippa number two. Historians tell us that he died childless. 
Aleluya. Júpiter. Aleluya. Fuestro. Because after him, no more dynasty. God destroyed that dynasty. The devil was consistent. But God was even more consistent. So God got, got them at the end. He got this 70 years old. And there were rumors that he had he was living sexually with his own sister. ハッチェノ。ハッチェノ。ハッチェノ。ハッチェノ。ハッチェノ。ハッチェノ。ハッチェノ。ハッチェノ。ハッチェノ。ハッチェノ。ハッチェノ。ハッチェノ。ハッチ
Гэхдээ бидэнд үнэн хэрэгтэй. The truth is hard, we must take it. Үнэн халуун байх юм бол тэрийг бид нар хүлээн зөвшөөрдөг. байх юм бол бид нар бас хүлээн зөвшөөрөх хэрэгтэй. Because the truth will set us free. Үнэн биднийг чөлөөлдөг юм аа. Now maybe you think, whoa, that's the end of the story. It's not the end. Хаанаар за ингээд түүх дуусах юм гэж бодож awesome. Бохон үнэхээр агуу юм аа. So phenomenal. Тэр бүр юу бусын гайх. That there is more to the story. Энэ түүх ингээд цаашаа үргэлжлүүлж байгаа. Now I have to tell you the rest of the story. За би үлдсэн хэсгээ нэрээ. And uh, it will bless you. Let me find. Хаанаар юм тэр юурх болно юм. My notes here. Amen. Amen. We see. So here we have the dynasty of Herod. За энэ Херодын угсаа байна. Conspiring plotting against all the foreigners. Өмнө хүүхдтэй эсрэг хөвөлддөг. Starting with Jesus. The big foreigner with the big F. Хамгийн том Jesus. The main one. John the Baptist was a foreigner. Яахан Баптист өмнө хүүхдтэй. Who was for Christ? He was a voice in the wilderness. Тэр Христийн өмнө яваад түүнийг заалдаг руу хаалаа гэсэн хаа сайн. The feel of the valleys, lower the mountains so the king can come in. Хүндэ газрыг дүүрэг уусыг тэгшил тэгээд хаа ирж байна гэж тэр заалдаг. The church was a church of foreigners. Тэр өмнө foreigners. Өмнө хүүхдтэй байсан. Петр өмнө хүүхдтэй. Game was a foreigner. Яах вэ өмнө хүүхдтэй. James died. Peter stayed alive. Яах вэ өгсөн гэхдээ Петр амьд өлсөн. So his conspiracy the whole house of Herod Herodin бүхэл гэр хөвөлдөж байгаа. Was a brutal anti-Christ house. Anti-Christ гэр үүс. An anti-foreigner house. Өмнө хүүхдтэй эсрэг гэр үүс. But God is so great. Гэхдээ бурхан үнэхээр агуу юм аа. That not only this in Gethsemane. Та анхааралтай сонсоор. Not only he hindered that house to interfere here. Мм. Бурхан зөвхөн энэ гэрийг тэр өмнө хүүхдтэй хүүхч руу хурууд үрхийг зогсоогоод зогсохгүй the god interfere in the house of the өөрөө тэднийг ирлүү орсон баг like he did by placing obadiah in obadiah хааны ортод байршсан the house of ahab and jezebel jezebel гэрт байршсан he had the prophets alive тэгээд тэр 100 ишүзүүлэгчдийг амьд ойлгосон амьд ойлгосон now did you know that god had planted some people inside the house of Herod. Do you might not have noticed this. Herodin гэрт бурхны байршуулсан хүмүүс байсан та мэдхгүй. And it's okay. Бурхны хүмүүс бид нар бид нар ер нь мэдхгүй ах гэж бид бас бид баг уу бид аа really seeing things. Мэдхгүй ах чинь зүгээр би ч гэсэн хэлээ мэдхгүй байсан. Inside of the courts of the poisonous Herodian dynasty. Хорт Herodin удмын гэрт дотор God placed his Бурхан өөрийнх нь хүмүүсийг байршилцсан гэсэн. And I will mention two. Би тэр хүмүүсээс хоёрыг дөрөв. The two we know. Хоёрыг бидэнд мэдэгдэж байгаа хүмүүс. Number one. Эхнийх нь name is Mana. Мане. He was a man. Ихтэй хүмүүс. We don't know much about him. Түүний талаар нэг их мэдээл байхгүй. But this man. Гэтэ энэ хүн. And there was a lady. Бас нэг эмхтэй эс. I was big shot of her. Түүний талаар товчхон ярээ. Her name is Joanna. Joanna гэдэг эмхтэй эс. A man and a woman. This people were inside. Энэ хоёр the house of Hero. Hero гэдэг эс. God is phenomenal. Бохон үнэхээр нүүсэн. Not only he hindered that house to interfere in here, but God interfered in their house. Бурхан байштай Херодын угсаа Есүсийг устгахыг зогсоогоод зогсохгүй тэр өөрөө бүр Херодын гэрт нь орсон баг. Окей. Акт chapter 13. Үс 13. Are you still with me? Isn't it interesting? Энэ сонголттой биш вэ гэж үү? I mean, I don't give you all the details. Би та нар бүх бүх нарийн ширээнийг яриад өгөө. The whole picture. Гэтэ энэ ингээд зураа зурагтлыг хатаа. Which shows us how much the devil hates foreigners. Дьявол өмнө хүүхдтэйг ямар их үзье яд тийм бэ гэдгийг харагдаж байгаа юм зүйлээ. Тэр үзье яд. And he is consistent. Тэр бүр тууштай. But God is consistent too. Гэтэ бурхан ч гэсэн тууштай. And we become more and more consistent. Тэр одоо тууштай болох хэрэгтэй. 
We will not let go of the young generation. We will not let go of newly saved people, whatever their age or profession or background. We will not let him interfere in the fulfillment of God's plan. But we will interfere in his plan. Like Obadiah was in the house. Keeping hundred prophets alive. Feeding them bread and chicken. Burgers. Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. Manna. Okay, Acts 13. Now they were in the church at Antioch. Antioch Prophets and teachers. Barnabas. Barnabas. Simeon, who Simeon. was called Niger. Mm -hmm. Lucius of mm -hmm. Sabine. Uh -huh. Manan. Kurini Luki. A member Manan. of the court of Herod. Herod the Tetrarch. Yeah? And so, of course, who became poor. So in the church in Antioch. I mean, this man from this house of Herod. God saved. And attended the church in Antioch. And he is counted among the prophets and the teachers. So he was not a sleepy church member. He was one of the key people in the church. Do you understand that's right? Nothing can stop him. Are you with me? Not even when he penetrates the territory. Of the, of the enemy. So, so I, I studied a bit this. Oh my goodness. I, could, I had goosebumps when I was praying. Oh, it's so good. Man, his name means the comforter. And his story said, We don't know much about his life. Between his childhood and oh, his, mass, mass, his mass. membership in Antioch. Antioch in but we can assume that he might have heard John the Baptist. Because John the Baptist mm -hmm. also was there in the house of Herod. And Herod cut his head off. So he might have met John the Baptist. Who knows, maybe John the Baptist baptized him. You know, the devil is working, but God is working too. Oh, I love this. This, is, this should be a movie in Hollywood. Uh -huh. So man, man might have become a follower of Christ. And maybe together with another person, Joanna. Joanna the Because Joanna, let's go to Luke 8. Talk name Let's finish this, then we have a break. Then I will talk about something else. Is this story not interesting? Whoa. That's really it's, it inspires me and comforts me when we are disappointed and we think nothing is working. And God is working. Not only 100%, but 500% and I So Mark, no, Luke, Luke. sorry. Luke 8, verse 1 to 3. Soon afterward, Jesus went on through cities and villages, proclaiming and bringing the good news of the kingdom of God. 
үүний дараа удалгүй Есүс нэг хот суурингаас нөгөө төрч бүхний хаанчлыг тонхоглож дэлгэрүүлж байна. And the 12 were with him. 12 түүнтэй хаан. Also some women who had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities. Мөн буцар сүнснээс сарсан зарим эмхтэчүүд түүнтэй хаан. Mary called Magdalene. Magdalene Mary. From whom seven demons had gone out. Долон сүнс түүнээс гарсан гэж. And тэгээд Joanna. The wife of Chusa. Herod's household manager. Herod's Herod болох Кузагийн их His wife was Joanna. And she walked with Jesus. And because they lived in the palace, she might have she might be a wealthy person. Maybe she was one of the wealthy women who financed Jesus' ministry. And she lived inside Herod's house. This is so hilarious. God has a special sense of humor. So, these good news are that all that tried to kill this, but all that collapsed. They all died. Иисусын Иисусын угсаа устахыг хүсчихсэн энэ угсаа өөрөө нас орсон болсон. Jesus Jesus did not die. Үхэгүй. He gave his life. Тэр өөрийнхөө амьдралыг амиг өөр өгсөн. Nobody killed Jesus. Хич Иисусыг алаагүй. He gave his life. Тэр амиа өөр өгсөн. When he wanted. Хүссэн өөрийнхөө хүссэн. Nobody can steal the life of the son of God. Бурхны хүүгийн амийг хийж авч чадахгүй. Тэр өөрийнхөө амийг өгсөн. They never thought way I kill him. Тэгэхээр яаж болохоор би түүнийг аллаа гэж. And he was elected. Тэр дахин амьсан. So he's alive. Тэр тэр амьд байна. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. John the Baptist finished his work went to heaven. He's alive too. Baptist minister John Magister Kiget Mukhi Osrevson. There was a persecution. A lot of Christians died because of Paul. Paul the old mass hatched the old mass mashal the Christians to succeed. But the church grew in numbers. Shifte sumin ta tasrit kusur. They continue to be alive. Yes. Ata kushte sumashin. And at the same time, God infiltrated the house of heaven. Kiget zakspo bokhin ora. Хиродын гэрлүү нэфтэр болсан байна. Уу, 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 that's why Jesus said, wash the leaven of Herod. Because Herod has died, but the leaven can still work in the church, in our lives, where we are hot and cold. Serve God, serve materialism. Serve the truth, and we live a double life. Тэгээд нөгөө хоёр амьдралаа. That has to stop. Энийг зогсоох хэвчээ. That's it that has to stop. Энийг зогсоох хэвчээ гэж бий гэж байна. Amen. Oh yeah, I could tell you more but you will see when the menu is out. Миний номнууд гарч ирэхээр та нар хараарай би илүү их ярмаар. I am sure you will enjoy it. Та нар түүнхээр сайхан байдаг гэж батлаа. He is victorious. Three conclusions. I drew from this. Number one, God can put an end to the mixture legacy. That's why we train everybody in the house. Serve him. Wholeheartedly. James wrote in his letter. A double-minded man can expect nothing. Jacob, no, me, Christian, he just, 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 he just
ямар нэг юм хүлээж байгаа гэж битгий болж байгаа. That's a strong word. Үнэхээр хүчтэй хэлж байгаа. Expect nothing. Ямар нэг юм хүлээж байгаа гэж битгий хүлээ. Битгий болж байгаа. Гэж 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 байгаа. За нэгдүгээр бурхан холилцсон үгийг дуусгаар болох. So that has to happen in my life. Тэр энэ миний амьдралд болох хэвээр байна. That makes sure must stop. Миний амьдралд байгаа тэр холц I'm sure дуусах хэвээр байна. Би бурхан 100% хүн болч. The best I can. Nobody is perfect, but the best I can. Тэр төгс биш гэхдээ би чадах хамгийн сайн амьд. Би тэр нэж чинь. I will raise my hands in worship. Би махтаар дуу төн рүү гараа өргөн. Praise his name. Би түүний нэрийг махтаар. I will represent him. Би түүнийг төлөөлөх юм. Let him shape me. Тэр намайг шилтэрчүүлэхийг би зөвшөөрөх. So make sure has to come to an end in our lives. Бидний амьд хол залуу болох хэвээр байна. Jesus says. Да Jesus хэлсэн. If you could take this cup away from me. Энэ аягыг та надаас холдуулж болох л. But father don't. Гэхдээ бити холдуулаад ирсэн. I will drink. Би нэг уун хэлсэн. 100%. 100%. Number two. Хоёр дахь. God wants to infiltrate the courts of society with kingdom believers. Бурхан нийгмийн холбож байгаа энэ уцуудыг хаанчлын хүмүүсээр орлуулах юм гэсэн чинь. Amen. That's why the church is there to raise foreigners. Тийм учраас сүм өмнө хүчтэй басах хэрэгтэй. One of you can work there, another can work there. Тэр нэг юм тийм дэжлэн нэг дэжлэн. Can study here. Нийгмийг ингээд барьж байдаг, уцоод уцоод. If you are an unemployed person. Тийм учраас та ажилгүй бол. Listen to me. Намаг сонс. In all countries there is a certain rate of unemployment. Бүх улсад тодорхой төвшний ажилгүйдлийн төвшин гэж байдаг. Maybe it's higher here in Mongolia than in Denmark. Магадгүй Данид, Монголыг харьцуулах юм бол Монгол илүү өндөр байх. Whatever country you live in. Тэгээ та ямар улсад амьдарч ирсэн? Ямар ч улсад амьдарч байсан. Apply for work. Та ажил олж хийх хэрэгтэй. Yes. Amen. Nobody in the church should be unemployed. Сүм доктор ажилгүй хүн байх ёсгүй. Pray, push in the spirit. Залбар сүнс доктор тү something. Ямар нэг юм хий. Everybody must work. Хүн болгон ажиллах хэрэгтэй. That's the place of influence. Яагаад гэвэл эн чинь бид нэрийг нөлөөлөх газар байхгүй юу? Эндээс бид нэр нөлөөлнө. That's the place. Эн чинь газар нөлөөлөх юм. I can pray for Mongolia for my bedroom. Би онцгойны өрөөнөөс Монголын төлөө залбар чи гэж битгий хэл. Yeah. If you are sick and you are lying in your bed maybe God will hear your prayers. Та өвчтөө орон дээрээ хэвтэж байгаа хэвтэрт орцсон бол бурхан таны залбирлалт сонсон. But if you are a lazy Christian who does not want to work. Харин та ажил хийхийг хүсдэггүй залхуу хэрэгсэд ч юм бол. Your prayers will hit the ceiling and fall in your head. Таны залбирлал таазыг зохиод буцаа тань дээр ирэх болно. I saw statement of Tunde Bakary recently on Facebook. Би сайхан Tunde Bakary pastry Facebook дээр хэлцэнийг нь уншсан. I can send it to you when I find it. Би олохоороо та нар зөв. Was something like God's influence through you only happens at the workplace. Ингэж хэлсэн баа. Таны бурхан зөвхөн таныг ажил дээрээ байхад чинь танаар дамжуулаад нөлөөлнө гэж хэлсэн. Then he added, I did add. Тэгээд тэр нэмж хэлсэн баа. So don't jump on me. Над руу битгий байраараа би бичээгүй шүү тэр хүн битгий шүү. I have been talk with the Тэр та нар энэ ярьж байгаа зүйлтэй санал нийлэхгүй байгаа л түүнээ багэрэ таастай яраараа. Тэгээд тэр ингэж хэлсэн. Christians are lazy. Христчэд үнэхээр залхуу. Ouch. Ouch. Sometimes we need to hear things. Тэгэхээр like бид нар заримдаа ийм үг сонсох хэрэгтэй. To wake up. Сэрхийн тулд. So if you are unemployed. Тэр та ажилгүй байгаа. Push in the spirit. Сүнс дотор бүртгүүлэх. Try out to go. Бурхалуу хашгал. Yes. Propose yourself somewhere. Хаа нэгтэй өөрийгөө сонсох. Even work for free. Бүр цалин авахгүй байсан ч гэсэн намайг ажиллуулаач яа гэж хэлэв. One of my son's friends. Миний хүүгийн найз I just we we remember him now. He's not a believer. It is for sure. He finished his education as a chef. He was very talented. He was very talented. Mash chatterster. You know what he did? He knew his English. He went from restaurant to restaurant. No work for him. He's trying to draw. What should I just talk some Chinese stuff? I'm so impressed by that. I know him because he made food for my son's wedding. The mini bugging, hot, hormy, hot, like this. Such a sweet. Kind young man. Unfair, ill-tempered, sarcastic. 
He went from restaurant to restaurant. There was no work for him. Then he decided. I will be up at three o'clock in the morning. I will go to the market. I will buy some food. I will propose my service to restaurant for free. So he worked on four restaurants in four restaurants for free. And then one day, because he was a good chef. One of the restaurants said, Hey, we want you. And we work for us for free, with demanding nothing. And, his, and he worked hard for them. Like he was paid a high salary. Excellence, everything he knew put into that. If you do that, I don't need to be a prophet to tell you one day somebody will discover you. Whoa. I've seen this young man. He's there before the work starts, he's there after the work finishes. When he leaves the workplace, everything is in order. Nothing is missing. Then now people steal from the workplace. No, no, everything is there. Integrity. Every time he comes in the morning, shines. Happy for the work. Do you think the boss is not interested in a person like that? They are interested in the person. They might fire somebody and replace that person with you. So work. Amen. Be employed. Because as Tony Bagwell said, that's the only place. I didn't say that. He said, it's the only place where you can have influence. And he has raised millionaires in his church. From zero. Millionaires. When Hillary Clinton came to our daughter. Okay? Otherwise I will go on for years. Number three. So God wants to infiltrate the courts of the Herod in our days. With men like Manan. Women like Joanna. Number three. God will help us to neutralize the poison of lukewarmness. Give us the anti-venom. Neutralize the effect of lukewarmness. There is a good place where that can happen. It's called church. <laughs> because if you join a church where people are alive, wholehearted, light is shining. There is true freedom. Freedom for men, freedom for women. Increasing financial freedom. More and more people get to work. One day nobody is unemployed. Whoa, if you attend a church like that, I can tell you, lukewarmness will be flushed out of your life. So we have to stick together with people like that. Not isolate yourself. That's why I want the young people to connect together. Because it helps neutralize lukewarmness. If we walk alone, suddenly little by little, oh yeah. Nobody is perfect. I'm not perfect. I'm sure everybody has some struggles in their life, so I have my struggles. Poison of lukewarmness creeps in in your veins. 
That's why the believers knew when they spoke in Acts 4, you are the God of heaven and earth. You can fix that anytime. Even this conspiracy and the rulers and the kings that come together with the big shoulders and the huge arms and their thrones and they are so important. They can stop anything anytime. <laughs> you know that speaking in tongues? <laughs> God is greater than that. <laughs> you can pray together, He will just chase you out. <laughs> you will not have a square millimeter in His territory. <laughs> and He will have His ambassadors in your territory. <laughs> Enjoy your coffee. See you in 15 minutes.